Hello everyone watching and listening and don't click off the video. <laughs> you have the right video. This is the first ever in-person yes. version of Inspired By and I had to do this especially because this is Columbus's very own <laughs> Nia Allen. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm great. This is, this is amazing. This is amazing. I've talked to a lot of, you know, cool artists and, but this is real special because yeah. not only is it in person, <laughs> um, but you're from here yeah. and your song hit number one on the Billboard charts. Yeah. And it's, it's like, it's happening like right now. <laughs> in so, real time. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. So you, um, just like many other artists you know you're known for your singing you're known for your praise and worship mm -hmm. but so you have a praise and worship leader your singer your songwriter your teacher mm -hmm. like how do you like how special are those roles and assignments for you and like how do you carry all of that yeah I, well first of all thank you for having me i'm oh, excited to be sure. here columbus is my hometown so yeah, i'm like yeah. it's good to be here i um i don't you know what somebody asked me that the other day i think honestly god just gives a grace for it i don't think i set out to do all those things mm -hmm. but i feel like they just kind of naturally come and you know when the opportunity presents itself it's kind of like i've just walked into it kind of like one at a time you know yeah, yeah. um like you said being a singer um actually writing being able to write my own music um being able to teach honestly i'm serving as a this past semester I served as an adjunct professor at a Azusa Pacific University and I mean it's a lot of work you know I was mm -hmm. teaching twice a week Tuesdays and Thursdays but mm -hmm. like I think that God just gives you a grace for it you know and I was in a position where I could do it you know so I was teaching mm -hmm. during the week Tuesdays and Thursdays I would uh, lead worship on Sundays um, I serve as a worship artist and do a virtual worship recording another day like it, I think it just takes planning it takes a lot of preparation um, and then God gives you the grace to do it you know and where they all work together and they don't compete with one another but they yeah. all kind of complement one another so I'm just grateful that I get to do it all. <laughs> no, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing because I think we focus so hard on being purpose to do one thing yeah. and at one time and that's it and nothing else can enter. But the the blessing to, that God wants to use you in multiple areas yeah. is is phenomenal. And yeah. I, I think it's really, would you say it's like a learning process? Like Honestly, I think, yeah, I, it's something I think I learned along the way. Moving, yeah. I've been in California. I'm from Ohio, um, but I moved, I've been in California about six years now. And okay. I think, I feel like living in California kind of showed me, it opened me up to like, you know, the possibility of like you running to people in California. They're like, oh yeah, I sing, I do photography, I'm a graphic designer. You're like, <laughs> you do all those things. <laughs> I'm like, dang, you know, yeah. but I think it just, it just showed me that you don't have to limit yourself, you mm. know, to just one thing. And yeah. I've always, I grew up in a musical family. I love to sing. So I knew singing was a part of it, but I didn't know, you know, going to school, my dad, he's an educator. Shout out okay. to Dr. Ruffin. He, yeah. um, he really, you know, they never pushed me into it, but they always kind of encouraged me, you know, so the music education piece, it, it came in handy, even though, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't always <laughs> running to go to school, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm grateful that I did because it's all kind of working together you know yeah. so I'm able to sing I'm able to teach you know and um I think there will come a time where yeah where I'll I don't know I think they've all just work together I'll just mm -hmm. say that and I think it's something I've learned along the way you know mm -hmm. and they they yeah they don't they don't conflict with one another so yeah. I think God is just giving a grace and showing that you can there's so many different aspects of you you know mm -hmm. I don't want to just limit myself to just one thing but just and even I would encourage people just to discover all the many talents the many passions and desires that you have I love to sing I love to write I love to teach and pour into the next generation so yeah. um I think yeah God has created us he's gifted us in so many ways we're not just limited we don't have to limit it to just one thing so no, that's cool mm -hmm. uh so recently you said or were quoted saying that your prayer is that lyrics provide healing. Mm. So how do you see <laughs> um, God actively answering that mm. prayer? Wow, that's a really great question. <laughs> <laughs> when did I say that? No. <laughs> when did I say that? No, I'm just no honestly, 
<laughs> That's hilarious. I think, honestly, when we think about worship and we just think about, you know, I believe that, you know, in the presence of God, there's healing. In the presence of God, there's joy. And so mm-hmm. just, um, and even the lyrics that he gives, my prayer is that always, you know, that we're not just singing just to sing, but that is singing for a purpose. Yeah. You know, and so when I write, that is my, a lot of times I, I never just sit down and write, you know, I, usually it's something that I've really, like I get inspired, I'm walking down the street and then like lyrics and melodies will start to come. Mm-hmm. But even as I continue to work it out, I'm just like the mindset and heart behind it is how can I minister this song or how can mm-hmm. these lyrics, like you said, bring healing to people that are that are listening to it. Um, people need God. People need the presence of God. And I think gone are the days. Of, I mean, it, great singing is uh, amazing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But it has to have purpose. It has to be so much more than just singing a great song. You know, it just it has to be so much more. It has to be ministry. Yeah. And so yeah. I really that is my prayer every time. I stand before people is just like, Lord, help me to minister to the hearts of people because I know how the presence of God changed my life. And I yeah. just pray that it would change um, the presence of God and even just the lyrics that he gives me, that it would bring healing and change the lives of others. So that has to just be, that's just my heart behind behind the music when I'm writing and when I'm also singing in front of people. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my favorite things to say is like, I always want to make the right noise. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot not, of noise going yeah, on right, right now. But yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm not talking about singing because I can't. Yeah. So don't ask me. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but no, like the like there is a lot of noise mm-hmm. going on in the world, and we can get so distracted yeah. and pulled in one way, mm-hmm. and just get all these conflicting reports and mm-hmm. conflicting, you know, philosophies and theories. And it's like, it, at the end of the day, it's st- it's going to be the words that mm-hmm. can guide us in the right way mm-hmm. lyrics melody music yeah. music is healing music in itself yeah. is healing you know yeah. it's a universal language and um music can speak to the hearts of those who are you know are not even believers you know there's times mm-hmm. and i feel like god like i just partnered with a, a label rich nation entertainment and it's a straight like mainstream label you know mm-hmm. but they said they wanted to sign a gospel artist and i'm just like Okay, you know, <laughs> so my point is, I feel like God is using the song "Wait" and other songs just mm-hmm. to, um, just to uh, stretch beyond the the four walls of the church, and yeah. just because of the power um, and, and the healing presence of music. So yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah for sure. So with your song "Wait," yeah. <laughs> hitting number one on the charts. Yeah. Obviously, you probably got a phone call, text, email, all kind of alerts. So what was your first, second, and third? <laughs> <laughs> response to finding out what your song did. Disbelief? No, I just did that. <laughs> I was like, okay. You know, it was just, I think it's just surreal. You know, you work for something all your life and then you mm-hmm. kind of see it. No, nah, I've never strived toward, you know, um, but I think for me, it was like a manifestation of just kind of like, um, just hard work, it's like throughout mm-hmm. my life, you know, and just kind of dreams being realized and manifested and I'm just grateful. I honestly am just, it's a heartfelt, uh, a heart of gratitude, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm just grateful. I'm, it's a, I've never been on the charts before, you mm. know, before this album. And so, um, yeah, I was like to reach number one, it's just, it's surreal. And so mm. I'm still like, huh, what happened? You know, <laughs> I'm just grateful. Like, it's a God thing. And I just pray that God continue just to use it how he will. So, mm. Mm. yeah, that <laughs> it was, it was amazing news to hear, especially... Because with the song itself is a journey. I've had to live that song. <laughs> if you only knew <laughs> how long I've been singing this song, I'm like, I gotta start singing something else. Yeah, yeah, we got new lyrics. The wait is over. The wait is over. It's a new season, something. Because yeah. I'm like, my goodness gracious. No, yeah. my dad and I, we wrote this song, as you know. Like, we wrote it, we did a studio version of this years ago like 2004 2005 when i was living in when i was living here in ohio and um and i've continued to sing it and it's 2021 and i'm like what you know (laughs) but when i say like throughout the years of as i have continued to sing that song it's just it's continued to speak to the hearts of people so when Mm. we did a live worship album i was like i want to do a live version of wait you know i was like i've been singing it a long time um there are people who know the song who are very familiar with the song Mm. but then there are other people who have never heard it before you Mm. know and so when we were um, thinking about song selection for the album I was like, that song, Wait, it always speaks to people every mm. single time. And so I was like, I want to do a live version of it. And so that's what you're hearing right now. That's what yeah. you're, um, that's what you're on the radio. That's what, yeah, it's time. I, timing of like, 
time spent. I've lived that time spent waiting. You know, there's still some mm. things that I'm waiting on, you yeah. know. Um, <laughs> I'm like, Lord, so I mean, it's coming from a real and an honest place, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm grateful. Um, yeah, but when you hear it, it's, it's coming from a real place um, because it's, I, I've had to live it out. and um, literally, like, literally. Literally. Literally, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. when you, I believe when you first got the song, like it was in a particular season in mm-hmm. your life. Mm-hmm. And then then you get to, you know, team up with your dad to mm-hmm. do it. Like what what was that experience like? Like first you getting the lyrics yeah, yeah. in you and then you like, well now I gotta make it real. Yeah. And then, you know, your now the wait time is like a sophomore in high school. Right. You know? <laughs> Well, and honestly, the, the lyrics changed over time. When I first wrote it, like mm. you said, it was, a, it was a while ago. And I was like, you know, I was, in, I was walking down the street. I was in the midst of making a decision. I didn't know what to do. I said, you know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I hear from you. I'm going to wait till you tell me what to do. And over time, it has turned into, Lord, help me to wait <laughs> until I hear from you. Help me to wait for right. you to see me through. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, Just right. because it's like waiting is not easy. And mm-hmm. so it's it's countercultural. It's not comfortable, wow. you know. And so over time, like you said, uh, over time, the lyrics have changed. It, it went mm-hmm. from a... A declaration to a prayer, you know, yeah, yeah, and just yeah. kind of lower. Help me to wait on you. Help me to seek your face while I wait because it's not easy. It's not comfortable, but it is a part of our uh, our journey. So, yeah, yeah. yeah the the lyrics might have changed, but the position of, mm. you know, the message never did. So, like, yeah. what is it that you like? What encourages you to to wait mm. in some of those anxious moments? Because we mm. live in a what I call a microwave society. Yeah, absolutely. Like we want it stuff right here and right mm-hmm. now, but God is still, you know, a lot of things is that slow cooker, so it can be real good. Mm-hmm. So what encourages you to, to wait? I think just the, seeing God's faithfulness in my life, you mm-hmm. know, it, it helps in the waiting of just kind of like, you know what, Lord, Like I said, that prayer of just like, Lord, help me to trust your timing. Help me to trust your way and to trust that your timing is perfect. Mm -hmm. And you've been faithful in other areas and you've answered before. So I believe you'll do it again. You know, you've provided before. So I believe you'll do it again, you Mm -hmm. know. And so um, it's a daily walk, a daily journey. Mm -hmm. And like there are days as he will, God will give me a song. Someone who's very impatient, who does deal with anxiety. Mm. I have to, I'm like, Lord, help me to live out the songs that I'm singing and these yeah. lyrics that I'm telling everybody else to do. Lord, help me to do it. You know, yeah. so and honestly, it's a part of my prayer. You know, mm. even in the midst of this pandemic, there was so much fear and anxiety. And yeah. I was just like, Lord, you know, help me to live out these songs. Help me to wait on you patiently. Mm-hmm. Help me not to be anxious about anything, but to remain prayerful about any, uh, everything. And so, mm-hmm. you know, these lyrics, it's become my own story and my testimony. As I'm encouraging other people, yeah. I've had to pray on myself, you yeah. know, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. cause I, well, this is what is beautiful and dangerous about the English language mm-hmm. or really the American language is like wait. If you don't spell it, you may not know mm. what it is, but there is, you know, a heaviness mm. to waiting. Mm-hmm. And like, and so not only you have to, like you were saying, encourage people, but you have to, you know, practice what you preach Absolutely. pretty much. And that, and that can be tough on, especially on, you know, the platform and the mm-hmm. <clears throat> notoriety that you have on a national and world level. Mm-hmm. So like we, sometimes we forget that people in your position are human too. Human. Mm-hmm. And they're like, man, y'all, y'all, it looks glamorous. It looks easy. <laughs> it's not. No. Right? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's not every day. Yeah. But yeah. I think, like you said, I think this God gives you a grace, you know, mm-hmm. for it. And um, I think it's just important, like you said, just to live it out. Live it out. Be honest. Be real with your struggles, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I'm not perfect, um, but daily, you know, just um, aiming to live out this life that I'm singing about, you know, yeah. so that is a, a a conscious thing that I try to do every day is like, Lord, help me to live out what it is that I'm singing. So just yeah. that, I, you know, will be a good witness. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel, you know, the same way with being on air. Yeah. Like, it's, I can't <laughs> like yeah. say encouraging words on air and then, you know, be depressed when I get off. Like I have to yeah. really live up to this because I think that because we talked about you know healing earlier and mm-hmm. words and lyrics and melodies healing 
but it's only genuine if you can let those preach and minister to you too. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So born and raised <laughs> right here in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, H, right? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like, what are some of your your best memories of Columbus? Because Columbus has is really growing. It has. Yeah. Has and has grown over the years. Cause yeah. I remember, I like I drive down areas. I'm like, I remember when this was all dirt. Mm -hmm. Like, like now it's a <laughs> it's a whole other little city. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but what are some of your best memories about here in Columbus? Yeah, I grew up on the northeast side, so. Um, I where I went to Indianola Elementary School. I don't even know if Indianola's uh this yeah. is it's, it's by yeah. Ohio State campus. Yeah. Um, yeah. Monroe Middle School where oh my dad my. was the, uh, the music teacher. Yeah. That yeah. was very interesting. Yeah, that don't exist. Uh, no. Dog, oh, it, oh my god, Monroe's gone. Mm -hmm. And the building's no. there. The building is there, but the school oh, <laughs> the building is there. <laughs> when I was there like Monroe was like it was a strict. It was good. I mean, it was good yeah. for us. Yeah, yeah, um then I went to sure. Northland High School, Northland okay. High School. Yeah, okay. and then yeah. I transferred. <laughs> Uh, World Harvest Christian Academy okay. <laughs> and um, I graduated from World Harvest but mm. um, the, every t even now Donato's Pizza that mm -hmm. is like a staple because they don't have Donato's in, uh, uh, in Cali and so wow. every time I come home still to this day I'm like Donato's Pizza yeah. uh, Cheryl's Cookie I don't right. know if y'all said yep. Cheryl's yep. Cookie yep. Shot and Steams we used to go to Shot and Steams <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Shot was a, uh, a place to go. Oh wait, the mall, Northland Mall. Oh, I know my. they changed that though, right? <laughs> City Center, right? Oh. <laughs> Am I dating yeah. myself? I'm dating yeah. myself. Yes. Northland Mall. We used to go Northland Mall, uh, City Center. That was like the spot downtown. I don't think that exists Ooh, anymore, right? Now it's Easton. Oh, it's a park. Commons. Yeah, the oh, Columbus wow. Commons is the City Center. Oh my God. Northland is a Kroger and a police. Yeah, I've station. been there since. Right. I'm like, dang, I remember this mall. Right. A lot of great things happened at that mall. I used right. to work at that mall. Oh, That's hilarious. Wow. But no, I mean, yeah, a lot of great memories. A lot of great memories. Columbus, wherever I live, Columbus will always be home. So yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Ooh, that, that was some good memories. Yeah, I remember, like, I remember, you know, actively going to Northland and seeing Easton be built. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> and they took over everything. They, sure <laughs> they took did. over it all. <laughs> they sure did. Like I was saying, I remember when Easton was a dirt field. Yeah. Like there was nothing. Nothing there. over there. I remember that too. Man. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, uh, so we have a lot of gospel music talent here yeah. in the city too. And you know, we we play local gospel artists on Joy, and I think there's a lot of does. Well, first of all, what I love about gospel music here in Columbus is the passion, just the genuine passion behind it. Like people will just pop up and just just yeah. play and worship and go. Mm -hmm. um, but I know there are some that desire to reach, you know, national recognition to get that mm -hmm. billboard charting song. So what can you say to those artists to inspire them and to encourage them to keep doing what they're doing? Yeah, I think uh, just, you know, be faithful right where you are. We all have to, I, yeah, like I started here in Columbus and mm -hmm. I took this time when I was in Columbus just to perfect my craft, uh, build genuine relationships with people. Yeah. And um, eventually I ended up um, just after a time of prayer and just kind of like seeking God, like what's next? Um, I moved to Nashville, Tennessee. And so yeah. that, I really feel like, I don't know. I, it, I'll just say for me, I know everyone's journey is different. Yeah. I'll just say for me, um, moving to Nashville helped me to get plugged into the industry, I, more yeah. into the industry. Mm -hmm. I feel like it helps to live in a place where a lot of um, those, like those national art, you know what I'm saying, where a lot yeah. of it is happening and people yeah. are recording and that kind of thing. And so yeah. for me, that's my journey. It, mm -hmm. it helped, you know, for me to live in Nashville. I was in Nashville for nine years. And so yeah. that helped me just kind of, I got plugged into a church there. I start serving there and you just start building genu genuine relationships along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, session work starts opening up. Background work starts opening up, you know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, honestly, location is I mean, when you're trying to get into it. I think yeah. it, just depending on where, because I mean, everyone, 
there's everyone's called to different things. You know, mm-hmm. some people are called to serve in their local church and there's nothing wrong with that. Right. I think you just have to identify what it is that you're called into and mm-hmm. be faithful right there. You mm-hmm. know, and if you're called to serve at your local church, then be faithful right there. Mm-hmm. And it's needed. You know, um, if you're called to be regional, then, you know, be faithful right there. If you're called to be national, mm-hmm. be faithful right there. You know, yeah. I think you just got to know at the end of the day what you're called into. Um, stay prayerful. And then kind of you got to jump into it and put yourself in those situations mm-hmm. as well. Um, yeah, for me, Nashville was was a great entry into kind of the music industry. Mm-hmm. Um, but while I was in Columbus, I, you know, I learned a lot. This yeah. was my like, um, you just my a lot of my foundation was laid mm-hmm. here. And so I'll always yeah. be grateful for my time here. And um, yeah, but be faithful right where you are. Be mm-hmm. faithful right here. Be faithful. As, if you're serving at a church, be faithful right there, you know, and know that if you're faithful of a few, God will make you ruler over over much. And so mm-hmm. uh, just be faithful. <clears throat> Keep your heart pure. Um, don't seek after fame and people and things. A lot of things, honestly, a lot of things, as I was just remaining prayerful, if I know it's a God thing, a lot of stuff will come to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yes. so you don't have to seek, you don't have to run after people, yeah. you know? And I know we live in social media where oh, it's so yeah. much. I just, yeah. you know, but just, <laughs> yeah, just seek after God, like for real, make that your heart and just mm-hmm. go after him with all that you have. And God is faithful. He'll speak and he'll open doors that no man can shut. Yeah. Like you can literally not go wrong if you're seeking righteousness from God. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, like it's like it's a no fail yeah. system. And, you know, I think a lot of people get that, you know, that urge and, you know, that hunger to do something because they saw just someone pop up out of nowhere and do stuff like and and that. Those stories do happen, mm-hmm. but a lot of the those pop up stories that you see are years, years. in the making. <laughs> <You're> right? <laughs> years. There's a I can't. There's a, a there's a quote, and I can't remember. But it's kind of like it takes like 15 years. I'm, I don't want to mess it up, yeah. but it's kind of like what, what you deem as somebody as successful. They've been working behind the scenes like 15, 20 years, mm-hmm. and then we see the instant uh, instantaneous, uh, mm-hmm. you know, success. But really, they've been working behind the scenes for like 15, 20 years. But they're just being exposed to the world at a yeah. certain time, and so yes. yeah, yeah. So just stay encouraged. There is a time of preparation, you know, mm-hmm. and it's my pastor Troy. Pastor Troy, he mm-hmm. said this to me. <laughs> I went this office. I would go in his office like Pastor Troy. What's taking so long? And why is it taking so long? Why do I have to wait? And he looked at me and he said something that his father, Senior Troy, said to him. And he said, <laughs> he said the longer the preparation. He said he likened it to a um, an airplane and a um, and a runway. And he said the longer the runway, the longer the flight. And so I took that to mean like the longer that time of preparation, mm-hmm. the longer you'll be able to stand, you know? And so mm-hmm. I feel like that time of preparation, God is like, he's refining some things in me, you know, in my character, building integrity, you know? And so don't despise those days of small beginnings. You know, that preparation time is needed. That's where God is like getting all those kinks out. He mm-hmm. loves us enough to cover us yeah, <laughs> and not yeah. reveal those, those things that, you know, the, it's a time of maturing and strengthening. And so don't despise that time of preparation but yeah that i never forgot that he said the longer the preparation time the longer the flight the longer you'll be able to stand and so i never forgot that so thank you pastor truly yeah 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 Yeah. well that's something you know to remember because you know if if we serve a god and we can say in one breath that you know we are you know waiting on his timing Mm -hmm. then we can't put our look at our calendar and wonder was taking his ways so are higher than ours. Like seriously, yeah, his thoughts yeah. are higher. His plans, they're they're better, you know. And I think we just really have to just trust it. We have to yeah. get to a point where we say, you know what, let let go and um mm-hmm. and yeah, just trust it and say, yeah. Lord, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I think just reflecting on some of the what we will see as smaller blessings mm-hmm. can keep us, you know, encouraged in that preparation time. It's like, okay, well, he did do this. Mm-hmm. He did do that. Like. I'm still here. Like, obviously, there's still something yeah. to come from me, especially if you know in your heart that God didn't give you something for no reason. Mm-hmm. Like, this, like if you can, you know, sing or make music, like, that talent is for no reason. Yeah. You know, there's, you know, gifts that God has given me that I was like, ah, I'm cool on that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he's, but he just keeps, like, I know for me, just repositioning me to utilize those. Yeah. So, that I think it's important to 
to use your gift mm -hmm. because you'll never know where that pushes not only you mm -hmm. but like how you're saying you want the gift a gift god gave you to heal others mm -hmm. I, I think that's amazing yeah and use that. use what you have right where you are mm -hmm. you know and don't sometimes we're waiting for that bigger platform but it's oh, like be faithful serve be committed have a pure purity in heart while you're serving right exactly where you are don't wait until you <laughs> get yeah, that big yeah. place like and yeah, just be, if it's two or three people, you know, every single time, no matter who, who you're standing in front of, yep. just be consistent, you know, mm -hmm. and be faithful right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I need you to do one more thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can look in either camera. Okay. And I want you to finish this sentence. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no. I'm nervous. I'm getting nervous. No, <laughs> no I'm it's, sorry. It's, it's not hard, I okay, promise. Okay, okay, okay. So... My name is Nia Allen, and I'm inspired by blank. Oh, my Lord, a person, <laughs> a place, a thing, Any, I'm inspired can, by. It doesn't have to be one thing. It doesn't have to be one word. It can be, you can tell a whole book. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. And I'm inspired by. Oh, Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Dang. Okay. I. Dang, there's so many things. Okay. Name all of them. You're right. Okay. Name all so, my name is Nia Allen, and I am inspired by um, people who are walking in purpose. Mm. I'm inspired by people who uh, genuinely have a heart for God and who are um, just kind of being intentional about living that out. Um, I think. Just to live the life that I feel like our witness, you know, in the church has kind of been diluted a little bit. And so mm -hmm. I get inspired when I'm around people. There's nobody. Nobody's perfect. And yeah. so I know that. But I get inspired when I see people um, who are genuinely trying to to walk it out, to live yeah. out their faith, to live out what they're singing about, what they're preaching about, you know. And um, that's what inspires me. And also, yeah, just seeing people making a, a change and a difference um, in their in their surrounding community. Um, and even the world at large, I get inspired by that. And I want to be around those kind of people. Yeah. I want to be listed, you know, as a person who has inspired other people uh, mm. to keep going, you know, yeah. because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's not about, yes, we record music, but it's like, it has to have purpose. It has yeah. to go beyond us, you know, it has to go beyond just being on the charts. It has to go beyond all the yeah. awards. It has to go beyond that. It's like, it's ministry. And so I get inspired when I see people um, who are able to open up their mouths and healing takes place and it's genuine and true authentic ministry has taken place. I get inspired by that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. good. You said that's good. <laughs> I was nervous. I was like, Lord, what is he going to say? <laughs> no, that's, that, is, that is really good. Is there yeah. anything else that we need to be aware of? Anything else you have coming up? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm about to release a new single, so look out for that. Um, uh -oh. An up-tempo song. Okay. We're, we're working that out right now, but an up-tempo <laughs> song uh, for the summer, you know, so okay. I'm excited about that. Um, we may be planning a, a radio, like a promotional tour, an uh, urban inspirational tour, so look out for that. I'll like, st uh, stay connected with my uh, social media. I love to stay connected with you, uh, Nia Island Music, on all platforms. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll talk about it, but we're kind of in the process of trying to put that together right now, so um, I'm excited. A lot of great things. I just, God has just been faithful and yeah. yeah I think he's just opening up every day is an adventure right now mm -hmm. and um I can't I, I haven't always been able to say that but mm -hmm. I think I've stepped into a place where I'm able to do this full time and mm -hmm. I'm just grateful and so I'm enjoying it it's been good it's that's been a great good. journey mm -hmm. that's real good that's yeah. exciting yes <laughs> exciting. I appreciate you joining me yeah. today we gotta stay connected absolutely I hear that song okay <laughs> I will send it to you. It to you. <laughs> Give me about a week. Okay. Give me about a week okay. and I'll send it to you. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good.